hi you guys welcome to my channel today I wanted to talk about a few beauty tips so I do a few beauty tip videos here and there and today is just another one the first beauty tip I want to get into is for your face which most of the ones I have today are for the face so we're just gonna kinda stick in this whole area and have some fun your eyes we'll talk about eyes first so, when it comes to your eyes, I think we've all heard the saying, the eyes are the windows to your soul. So, I don't care how much lipstick you put on your face, if you got dark circles and bags under your eyes, your eyes are sunken in, your eyes look tired, you're going to look tired, you're going to look a mess. So, don't focus on your lips. Focus on your eyes. Even if you're not a big makeup wearer and you are really simple, that's fine. Just find a good concealer that really match, or powder even, that matches your skin tone very well and that blends very well and that you can use just to make your eyes brighter underneath and more awake. Once again, it doesn't matter what your lips look like. People think, oh, I can just put on some lipstick and go. No. Your eyes still look tired. People may look at your lips, but they're really focused on your eyes. And if you're talking to a guy, he's focused on your boobs. But we're not talking about dudes right now. We're talking about what's going to make you look better. And your eyes, your eyes, your eyes have it. So buy a good concealer, whichever brand or type or kind you like. Some are more creamy, some are more liquid. Find whatever you like. If you want to know what type of concealer I use, I <laughs> actually need to buy some new concealer, but I have three different ones that I've used or use in the past, now, whatever. And um, I use the L'Oreal True Match. I like that one. That's a very, very good concealer. That's pretty creamy. I use Avon's extra lasting concealer. I don't really like that concealer because for some reason it makes under my eyes water. Like it makes, I put it under my eye and it makes my eyes water. That's what I'm trying to say. So it makes my eyes a little bit sensitive. So I don't know what's in the formula that's a little bit strong for my eyes. And I don't have like sensitive skin or eyes or face or anything like that. But um, it tends to make my eyes water. So I'll use it like on the other high points of my face, like under my chin, on my forehead, down my nose, uh, a little bit right here, but I really don't like to use that. But I have used that in the past. Also, Max Pro Longwear Concealer, and with that one, it took me so long to figure out how to actually use it to like it. But now I do like it. I don't love it. Max Pro Longwear is slightly a little more... I would say thin in consistency, a little more liquid instead of creamy. I kind of prefer something a little bit creamy, but I have learned how to use that to really make it work and like it. And that's what I actually have on today is Max Pro Longwear Concealer. So, like I said, find whatever concealer you like. I'm just telling you about a few that I use, but don't have tired looking eyes. It will only make you look tired and you could get like 10 hours of sleep and wake up feeling so great and people are gonna say oh my gosh are you tired today you look so tired because you do look tired another thing that is an eye lifesaver and I would say an overall face lifesaver but it has to do with your eyes is mascara so I just adore mascara it is one of my favorite beauty things if I were to put in order my must-have beauty products things that I can't live without number one would be concealer and number two would be mascara once again the eyes are the windows to your soul and a good coat of mascara will make your eyes more open and bigger and sexier and it will really define the shape of your eyes so it's not even so much about putting eyeliner on eyeliner is great I like eyeliner but you don't have to put on eyeliner if you put on mascara and get those eyelashes just winged out and popping and pretty and like two little fans you will look great so when it comes to mascara I really don't think there is a such thing as bad mascara I don't care how cheap or how expensive it is I mean, if you put it on, it'll generally work. I mean, I have, I shouldn't lie, I have had mascara that I don't like, and I actually did a video on some things, products, beauty products I didn't like, so I should take that back. So there are products that don't work, but mascara tends to be one of those ones that's 
a little easier to buy than a lot of other beauty products. So a couple types of mascara that I really love to use is the, and I haven't used this in so long, so I don't even know if they still carry this, but it's, and I don't know if this is the brand, I believe it is L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara. I haven't used that in long, long, long time, long time. But uh, when, I, when I say a long time, I mean it's probably been like seven, eight years since I've used that. But L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara, I love that one. Uh, what else do I love? I don't know if they still sell the stiletto one. I don't even remember. Is that Maybelline? Who makes the stiletto mascara? You guys know what I'm talking about in the black package with like the red writing and stuff like that. I do like the stiletto one. The two that I've been using right now, and they are my favorite mascara ever, are... I have this little one that I got as a gift, and it is the Benefits They're Real. So I don't know if this is like a sample size or like what it is, but this is Benefits, Benefit, Benefit They're Real. And I love it. It's great. It just makes these eyelashes go from zero to 100 real quick and my favorite 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 which I had a video that I did about uh, Avon products that I love and this was one of them and this is the uh, Mega Effects mascara from Avon and I really love this I adore this I just think this is the craziest coolest best mascara in the whole entire world I don't think there's a mascara better than this I don't care how much it cost it's just crazy how good this mascara is. So like I said, generally mascara isn't one of the hardest products to buy when it comes to makeup. But there are some that are better than others. And this is just top notch. High end, low end. It doesn't matter. Drugstore, whatever. Avon's Mega Effects Mascara. If you don't have it, buy it. It comes in blackest black and I believe black are the two colors. I'm just telling you, ladies, you don't have to wear a bunch of makeup if that's not your thing, but take care of your eyes. They are the window to your soul. Next, I want to get into something that's super important if you are a makeup wearer. No matter how often you wear makeup, it does not matter. Priming your face is a lifesaver to your skin your face and your skin and your pores and you really want to protect your face as much as possible so make sure you find a primer that you love and if you wear makeup put it on trust me you will have the happiest face in the world if you have a good primer on your face because makeup will sink into your pores and clog your pores and not even so much breaking your skin out which it can and it will but just making your pores larger and things like that and really changing the texture of your skin and you don't want that to happen. So buy a primer that you adore. Now two primers that I have right now that I'm going to talk about. I don't love either of these primers. But I have them and I use them. I actually have to get the primer that I love that I've used before and I want to try out a new primer and maybe I'll talk about it if I love it but the one is and I talked about this before I got this at Target and this is the NYX Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer and I like this but it's not really a good primer and it says it's oil free to me this is more just like a moisturizer put it on your face as a barrier for your makeup and your actual skin but I would say put a primer on top of this. And that's what I generally do. Like if I use this, I'll put this on my face and almost use it to act as a moisturizer because it feels really good on your skin. It's really creamy and it's really smoothing. I guess that's why it's called Angel Veil because it's so light and airy. It's like a souffle, if, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But I don't really like it as far as like priming my face and really smoothing out my pores. It feels smooth on my skin, but it doesn't really smooth out the pores. But I use it, but I don't love it. Also, uh, Avon's Magic Face Perfector. This is, they say it's a gel and it's SPF uh, 20 sunscreen. I don't love this because it just doesn't prime my face very well. Once again, 
when you're priming, obviously you're trying to smooth out those pores and um, this really doesn't do that great of a job. It feels good on your skin. It doesn't feel bad or anything like that. It smooths very well, but it's just not that great of a primer. Now, the primer that I've had in the past that I really, really, really like is the Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer. I love that one. When I use it, it really smooths my pores, and I would see a visible difference when I put that on. Even before putting on my makeup, I could see just from natural face to priming the difference. So I really do like that one. I want to try another primer to see, you know, differences in all sorts of primers because you want to get, once again, want to have that barrier to protect your face. So you can be youthful for a long, long, long time. Now the next thing I want to get into is taking off your makeup at some point you gotta take it off and if you put makeup on you should always 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 take it off because you don't want to sleep in it you don't want it on your face if it doesn't need to be there so a couple things I want to talk about are face wipes I want to show you two that I have right now I got these from Target this is Target's up and up brand and the one I have here is the refreshing wet cleansing towelettes with vitamin E and it says thoroughly removes dirt, makeup, and impurities and I do like this. I can use it to wipe my eye. I did buy a um, makeup remover wipe one time that made my eyes really sensitive and I didn't like that. And I like this. It does feel good on my eyes. I have no sensitivity or issues with this so it's really gentle and um, yeah I like these. It says paraben free also, which is good. And the other ones that I have are actually exfoliating wipes. And these are cu with cucumber extract. This one has two sides of the cleansing towelette. The one side is more smooth and the other side has more of the ripples or ridges or bumpity bumps, I don't know what you call them, but that just helps to exfoliate your skin. So I like both of these. Neither of them are sensitive. I mean, make my face or my eyes feel sensitive when I use them. When I do wear makeup and I'm going to take it off, I'll use like two of these and then one of these after before I actually cleanse my face with whatever type of cleanser I like to use. If you don't wear makeup, I would still say get a good cleansing wipe. The air is so gross and so polluted and so nasty and so disgusting that these will still help get the dirt and oils off your face from the day and you will definitely see that even when you don't wear makeup. Like, oh my gosh, like my face is so dirty. Why? And so oily. Why? Because the air is disgusting and polluted. I feel like they work even better than just using a washcloth and water. So get yourself some good facial towelettes that you like, whatever brand you like to use. I'm just showing you what I have at the moment. Also, uh, some good ones I got from Walmart. They were Walmart brand, so you don't have to spend a ton of money on these things. Get some cheap ones. It doesn't matter. You throw them out, so don't spend a bunch of money. Just get some that are good, that work, and cheap because you're going to wash your face after you do that process. Anyway, also another thing that is gaining popularity right now, I guess, is the micellar water. And I've used two different kinds. So the first one that I used was the Simple brand. And the second one, which I have now, is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. And I don't see the difference in either. <laughs> so, I mean, I can't say, oh, this one is better or this one is worse. I like both. What I will say about using this product that I like about it is that for it seems to me that it helps to keep my skin clearer than, than it's been. So, I don't know, like, what's the purpose. It just says all in one, removes the makeup cleanses and refreshes, no rinse, no harsh rubbing, all skin types, even sensitive face, lips, and eyes. And it says no oil, alcohol, or fragrance. 
So that's all good stuff, and the simple one was the pretty much the same way. I could I used like the little flat cotton rounds, and you know I'd wipe on my face and eyes, and it gave me no sensitivity at all either one. And um, so I like it, and I just like to follow up with this like after <laughs> after I use the cleansing towels to wipe off my face. I still like to go in with this. And really do my eyes because it's just nothing really in it no cucumber extract or any type of product in it so it feels really good and soothing to my eyes to really get off the mascara which I put on heavy mascara so I need to put in some work when I'm taking off my mascara but I do like micellar water to cleanse my face like I said even if you don't wear makeup and you come home from a day of work the air is so polluted and so gross. Get yourself some micellar water or some facial cleansing wipes to just really clean off the dirt of the day before you actually cleanse your face with whatever type of cleanser or scrub you like to use. Another tip that I have has to do with lipstick. So to all of my girls, my skin color or darker, Nude lipstick is super fun and we all want to be able to wear it, but we can't wear it like people who have fair skin. So, <laughs> here's a tip that I have for you when you're doing your nude lips. So that you don't have like the crusty, ashy mouth look. Because that's not attractive. Make sure you line your lips first. Yes, line your lips. And you're not going to just go all around. You can do that. But a way to make it even more beautiful and more blended is just to throw in a little bit of that color in the corner to fill it in at the top and bottom corner of your lips and just blend that in really well. But don't just put your nude lipstick on and go because you are going to look so, so crazy. Buy a liner that's just slightly darker than the color, that will make the look much better and sexier and it'll make your lips look more defined so a lot of times if you're a brown skin darker skin woman and you put on nude you just look crazy and your lips have no shape or no definition so by using that darker pencil with your nude your lips are going to have shape and definition and look sexy but they're not going to look crazy and you don't want to look crazy so just a little beauty tip take it because it's helpful <laughs> And the last one I have is, oh my gosh, I was so excited. So this was a gift from my mother, and I really wanted something like this. And I was like, eventually in my life, at some point, I'll get one of these things. And it is just the best thing that I've used in so long. And I'm not telling you to get what I have. I'm just telling you to get something that's in your budget. But you need this, especially if you're a makeup wearer. A motorized cleansing brush so mine is called the Carteret Carteret I don't know it's got an accent over the T I don't even know is that supposed to be French I'm so confused anyway but it comes with three different um, heads that you can change out and this one is more of a sponge like um, texture and it's just really smooth I haven't used this one yet this one is obviously the brush with the brush bristles and I would say this texture is like a medium soft texture and this one is more of an exfoliating style brush and it's got those little nubbies ridges things and my brush goes at two speeds so there's a slower speed and there's a faster speed and I like the fast speed I just do and I've used both of these brushes. I haven't, I mean, brush heads. And I like both. I haven't used the other one yet. But when I tell you if you're a makeup wearer and you just need to find something like this, you don't have to get the one I get. Some of them are super expensive, like $200, and some of them are cheaper. Just find one that is in your price point. But you need this. The first day I used this, my pores, I woke up the next morning, were visibly smaller 
visibly smaller. My, my pores in this area look so good. I had less blackheads in this area. It just cleansed my face so well. And I mean, if you think about it, it's, you know, if you wash your hands, I mean, wash your face with your hands, that's okay. But this just moves at a faster pace and it has these knobs and bristles that really in the motor action helps to just really, um, I don't know, open up your pores, I guess. I even think that it helps to like build some collagen just because it's pulsating your face. I don't know if that's true. That's just my own personal theory. Don't, don't quote me. But if you wear makeup, you need a motorized facial cleansing brush. It is the best thing for your skin to really get deep into the skin and clean, clean, clean the life out of your face. Or I should say the makeup out of your face because that's the whole purpose. If you don't wear makeup, I mean, this is still great as well to really cleanse your skin and really get those pores to open up and release the bacterias that are in your skin. I just love this. I've used this twice so far. It's new, so I've only had it two days and I've only used it twice. I'm going to use it again tonight because I have a bunch of makeup on my face and I want to get a really good cleanse to free my face of the day. But I, listen, you need this. I can't emphasize it enough. Not this specifically, but whatever one you buy. But it's just so important to have a good, clean, healthy face. It's just going to make you look younger if you have a clean, smooth, healthy face and skin, and that's what you want. Also, with this, um, with these two, I did clean them, and just like my makeup brushes, I used a cheap dishwashing liquid because I, you know, you want to clean your brushes out really well to get the oils and dirt out of them, and you can't just clean it with water. At least I can't because I do wear makeup. So you just want to make sure you clean this like you would clean your makeup brushes to get the dirt and oils out of them. And dishwashing liquid is just good. Obviously, they fight grease and things like that. So that's what I used yesterday after I was done cleaning my face to clean this. And it's really pretty and white and clean. And I love it. And I can't wait to use it later today. So that's all I have for beauty tips, you guys. Like I said, I just do quick little beauty tips that I feel are helpful. They're helpful to me and I think they're going to be helpful to you if you don't do any of this stuff already. You might want to throw it into your routine. So thank you so much for watching. 